Pokua Bay, but the waves are angry. It's great if you're a surfer, but that's not us. Eventually we'll find somewhere to go swimming. sea turtles there's a couple of them floating around in here but they only come up every once in a while and mostly just their little heads Let's see if we can catch them we were up closer to the water but then a large amount of water came in and we started almost getting wet there's all sorts of tide pools which are really fun but they just refilled because of the amount of water that came at us Here comes another one. It's filling up. <laughs> Two more turtles. Yeah, there's turtles, but they're hard to see. If you see them, go. Oh, there was a head. I was in the right direction. So there's so another one there. Hopefully. Watch it. They are just swimming around in here. Wind came up again with the waves. It's kind of fun just to watch. There's some big waves up there. Look at that. I think that we have something about like Panama style of doing things because we found this little secluded spot tucked away where we can go and hang a couple hammocks. Maybe we could go in the water. We'll see. I might. I don't know if Classy will. But it feels very Panama-esque. <laughs> kind of have to watch out for glass. But there's no horrible bugs that'll kill you and no snakes. So it should be good. <music> I'll set up. This is over just a little bit from where we were. Clancy wanted to show it to me because it's kind of cool. They fill up and then it just sucks right out. Tide is definitely coming in right now. We figured that out. And then as it goes back out, it creates quite the, uh, the whirlpool type idea over on this side. Still windy. petroglyphs but we're just noticing it says that early in the morning is best or late in the evening but we're here now and it is neither of those do you feel your magnetic field spinning around <laughs> like the GPS in the car found the petroglyphs Some there. that one's harder to see They're all just kind of lined up around in a circle. It's really hot right here beside all of this lava rock. It reminds me of being in Kauai with my mom and my sister and the black sand beaches just being extremely hot. So they just circle around and there are your petroglyphs. And this is where the trail gets interesting. Is, is there an alien? It is a turtle. Okay, we're gonna look at the turtle. This is a crazy trail. You have to duck underneath of all of these. Seriously ducking. Okay, I think I think that's it. Bay 
Egg Island Shave Ice from the original Shave Ice Company. And I have got mango and passion fruit, and you can't tell the difference. You can taste the difference. And you have mango, passion fruit, pineapple? Delicious. Mango's a little bit sweet, but it's all the real syrups, not the fake stuff, which you have to research before you come. We did it in Kauai and now here on the big island, but it's good. We're at Kona Potato Chips. It's in Food Network Magazine, all sorts of potato facts. I didn't think we were in Kona anymore, but I guess it's the area. on the road. We've been trying to catch them and they seem to be after something on this stretch. I don't know what they're eating. Look at them go. This is all macadamia nutshells. This is Hawaiian host macadamia mill and garden. And that bin there is chock full of macadamias. We're looking for a macadamia farm, but we haven't found one. That's insane. Look at the amount of macadamia shells. Super tiny cacao tree, and then they've got a bunch of bananas up here. But apparently, they're not very sturdy. You can hear them cracking as we're standing here, and the wind is blowing. Even if you're looking closely, you can still see some of them with that fruit clutch on there. But the time it sends, spends in the fermentation neutralizes a lot of that sugar. They're safe to dry just like this. And that was our tour of Greenwell Coffee Farms, which it is a coffee farm, but he also said it was a food farm. So they grow cacao, they grow peppercorns, which I've never seen before, but that was pretty cool. They got orange trees, all sorts of stuff going on, which is kind of cool. And we really enjoyed the tour. So if you're ever on the Big Island, check it out. I think I forgot to show you that the chips that we bought from the chips place, they're spun in a special way so they have less oil. I don't know, they taste like potato chips, they're super crunchy. But Clancy bought ones with seaweed on them, and they are green because they have seaweed on them, and they're really good. <clears throat> Without tasting too fishy, they kind of add to the saltiness. Who knew that you could combine the two? That's 
saw the sunset from a distance the other night and tonight we're in one spot watching it go down. We noticed the lights on the trees the other day but weren't sure that we were going to get to see them so there's lights and then they also have a Christmas tree and the trees tend to be full of birds. Kalua Kona in the dark. There's big rain clouds up at the top. It looks like it's probably raining up there. We were up there earlier. Thank you. 